my friends, it's Deanna here today, and today I'm here to talk to you about my top five favorite color blocking patterns. So, let me show you what they are and why they're my favorite. Alright, so first of all, it's the Around the Block hoodie. Why is this one one of my favorites? because it's gorgeous. Look at this pattern. I love the way that the pattern goes in a like asymmetrical type of way and it kind of crosses across and it just does this beautiful effect on the bodice. Um, I love the banded. I love that it's got pockets. I love the hood and the fact that we do grommets because they add like a little extra touch to the whole pattern um there's cuffs and the color blocking option goes to the sleeves so you also color block the sleeves and it goes all the way around the back as well i just love the way that this pattern looks and one of the things and i'm going to say this now because it's going to happen with all the other patterns i know that sometimes we look at color blocking and we get intimidated because it is a lot it is kind of difficult it is scary it's not difficult really but it is scary to look at and be like oh my goodness can i make that but let me say now um before i even go to any of the other patterns that that is the great thing about ellie and mac we've got really great instructions on how to do it step by step with great pictures but we also have our video so so along so i'll attach the link in the top for every one of these patterns so you can go ahead maybe it's here maybe it's here wherever it is but so you can go ahead and check them out if you are scared check them out beforehand and then come sew it with us because it really isn't so scary but Anyway, the Around the Block hoodie is one of my favorites. It is super cute. I love what you can do with it. You can do different colors, um, however you want to do it. And I love that it also has the kids version. So it is a super cute one to match your little one. All right, y'all. Next on my list, it's the Poppy Top. This is such a cute little top that I just love the way it fits. I love the longer rounded like hem. Um, it's got the color blocking here higher at the top. It's got that little pocket option. It's got long sleeve and it's also got the short sleeve version. But what I really love about this top, it's the back. I love that it's got this placket for buttons. Um, so it gives it like a little extra detail and it looks super, super cute. And I'm gonna give you a little tip. I know um, buttons and buttonholes can be scary, but because this is a knit fabric, guess what I've done before? On this one, actually. I skipped the buttonholes. These buttons are actually attached, so they are not, I don't. I didn't do a buttonhole, I just did the placket and I attached the button to both layers, and that was it. Makes it super, super simple and super, super cute. It gives that great detail without all the work of buttonholes. So this is one of my favorites because it is just super, super cute, but it also is super, super simple. All right, friends, next is the So Scrappy. I adore this pattern. It is so cute, and my strap is hanging inside my hood. It is so cute, and it has really great options. Okay, so first of all, I love the way that this color blocking goes. It's kind of like a puzzle of sorts, and you can use um, all tons of scraps for it. So you can use all the little pieces of your favorite fabrics that you're like, I don't want to get rid of these, but what do I do with them? so scrappy. Um, it is super, super cute. I think, you know, one of the things that's scary about um, doing color blocking is just getting them in the right place. Other than that, it really is not very difficult. So follow the sewing tutorial and we will help you get it just right. I also love that there's the option of these little like stripes on uh, the sleeve, which gives it a little bit of an extra touch. I love um, the braided, um, straps and the fact that we do the little grommets on there with a little patch because it gives it like a little really nice look the hood is super cute but also this pattern has the option of short sleeve with a neckband which gives it a look of more of a top than a hoodie so i just love this pattern um it is basic in the back which is great um and yeah so it is super super cute this is the so scrappy oh also there is also a kids version so you can match your little one as well 
All right, friends, next is one of my favorite tops. I just think that this top, the book club top, it's one of those that just somebody sees it and you tell them you made it and they're like, wow, that is gorgeous. And it truly is gorgeous. I love the way that the um, color blocking goes around the bodice and it gives this effect. It looks super, super cute. I love the fact that it goes in like a V um, on the front and it is just, it's so perfect. And it's like a, such a trendy, trendy, trendy top. It is super, super cute. I love color blocking. So this is such a perfect pattern for that, for using your different colors to do, give it a totally different look. I also love the fact that you can color block the back and the front, but on one side, I didn't have enough of the fabric or you can overlap. I have a couple more of these kind of, uh, pretty much almost the same tops with the different variation of colors because I just love it. And it looks completely different when you do it in different colors. Um, I love that the color blocking goes over on the sleeve as well. Um, so it looks super cute and you can do it um, uh, all the way through, okay? In the front and the back. And then also, I really like the fact that it's also got the kids version. Um, and the kids version offers a couple more extra options than the adult version, but it is super cute to match your little one. Um, it's got the different length sleeves on them, so that makes it super cute for like um, summertime or springtime or wintertime. So this is another one of my top favorite patterns. All right, so last but certainly not least, one of my favorite color blocking hoodies. I am in love with the Tuesday hoodie. I love the way that it's color blocked. I love the bigger, um, a little bit looser fit of the of the um, pattern. I love that it's a straight fit um, size chart, so you can make it for pretty much all your family. I love that it is just so, so perfect with the way that the color blocking is. Um, I love the straight lines of it and the huge pocket that it offers. So I love that. And obviously the hood is such a great hood. I love the way that it crisscrosses right here as well. And it is just super, super, super cute. It really is probably my top favorite one to make. And every one that I've made is turned out so beautiful and it just makes me want to make more. Um, so this is one of my top favorites. Now, I feel like I know and I've done this before. These are my, supposed to be my top five favorite patterns, but guess what? I make the rules, so I decide, and I wanna mention a couple other honorable mentions that I just love, and I couldn't just not mention them today. So, I gotta mention the Autumn Spice. I love this top so much, and it's got so many different options with the sleeve lengths and everything, and I love the three layers of the color block, and the way that the hem is done. I think it's super cute and it's a great top to wear any day, all day, super casual but comfy, and you can dress it up with fabrics as well. And then I also love the Discover tee because it's my one of my favorites and it's a great way to introduce color blocking um, since it's just the top that it's color blocked and um, the, not the sleeve, so it's just that top area. Um, so it's great for if you just wanna dive into color blocking, but you don't wanna like go all the way down. <laughs> this is a great intro pattern. It is super cute and it's got different um, sleeve lengths and yeah, and there's also a kid's version for it. So. I hope you enjoyed all these patterns. I hope you really um, like them as well. If you haven't checked any of them out, go check them out um, and sew them up because they are super, super cute. Check out our, our other videos on our YouTube channel that show how to sew these up. And let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. Um, I hope you enjoyed them. Go check out my other top five videos, um, tops, rumpers, dresses, and then come back and let me know what is it that you're going to sew next? Is it a color blocking? Is it one of our dress patterns? Is it one of our top patterns? Is it one of our rompers? Um, and then go check out our Facebook and Instagram page where people are posting all their makes continually so you can be inspired by their makes and then you can post your makes and you can inspire us with yours. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you all next time. Bye!